Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to another awesome electric guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which you're gonna learn how to play beautiful country double stops. Right? I'm gonna share with you the secret to what makes and creates this sound. Basically, you're playing a chord, but you're leading up to the major note, the major third. You're playing the note below it, and you're hammering on the third. That's everything that's going on here. So we start from E. Okay, you can do this with any chord. You'll understand the logic in a second. You start from E. So we have the barred E chord on the seventh fret, right? You have, okay, we have the barred A shape on seven. So basically, if you take the first two notes, okay, strings one and two, you get this. And if you play seven and seven on strings one and two, and you hammer on the nine, on the second string, you get the country double stop. Right? If you add the E bass, you can hear the chord. You can actually hear the chord. So that's the beginning of the country stop riff that I played at the beginning. Okay, so okay, I pulled back off to seven. Okay, I did a double hammer on to nine and then pulled off to seven. And then to connect it to the next chord, which is B major, I played nine on the third string. Okay. And then I used my thumb to play the B bass note. Okay, seven on the sixth string. Now, if you take a B major chord and you play strings two and three, you get this, okay, which is seven and eight. So if we want to hammer on the eight, we need to go two frets down, exactly as we did from nine, okay? When we played E, we went two frets down from nine and we had seven. Now we're going to go two frets down from eight on the third string in the B chord because that's the major note. That's the major third. So we get six on the third string. Okay, so now it's seven and six and you hammer on the eight. Okay, you see, it's the exact same idea. The exact same idea. It's just a different fingering because it's different strength sets. So now you have two options for the next chord. The next chord is the A chord. Now you can do exactly what you just did on B, two frets down. And if you play the open A string, you'll hear the A chord. Okay? You have five on the second string, four on the third, and you hammer on the sixth. Now, you have another option here. You can use the next note of the chord instead of the second string, just to variate the sound. Instead of playing the same thing on B and A, okay, which is perfect, okay? It's perfectly fine, you can do that. I just wanna show you another option. You can use the next note in the chord, which is seven on the D string. So you can play seven on the D string and hammer on the four to six on the third string. That's a little bit uncomfortable at first. Right? But you, you will get used to it. This is a beautiful sound. So you can do this with A as well. So you have two options. 
right? With the high note or the low note. So the last chord is back to E. So now we want a lower third, okay? A lower country double stop. So where's the third here? Okay, it's the C-shaped bar on four, which creates the E chord. Okay? So the third, the major third, is six on the D string. So you can do the same uh, thing that you did on the first E chord, just down an octave. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. You bar four and you hammer on the six on the D string and you play strings three and four. Or you do the exact same shape that you did with A only on strings four and five. Okay, you have four and seven on strings four and five five this time, and you hammer on the six on the D string. Now you can play them separately as well. You can also play all three notes here. Okay? You can play seven, four, and four on strings five, four, and three, and then hammer on the four to six on the D string. You can do the same thing on A, but it's a little bit more difficult. Okay? Because you have to put this on. Five, four, and seven on strings two, three, four, okay? Five on the second string, four on the third, seven on the fourth. And you hammer on the six on the third string with your, with your uh, third finger, with your ring finger, which is a little bit difficult if you're just starting out with it. Now this is exactly the same idea as this. Okay? When you hammer on the two on the second string with an open A chord. It's exactly the same idea, but sometimes open strings sound less beautiful than fretted strings. Hear the difference? Open strings are a little bit thin um, and they're a little bit sharp, okay? A sharp sound, not the hashtag sign, sharp. Um, so practice this. This is a beautiful technique and you can do it with any chord. G, D, okay? um, C. Y you can do it with any chord. It works with any A shape, E shape, C shape, chord shapes, okay? Wherever the bar is, that's where you play the country third double stop. So before you go, check out my Break Your Boundaries course program. It's filled with 15 course modules and I release a new one every month, okay? Just like the one I just released. So check it out, lickandref.com slash courses and join my Break Your Boundaries course program. It's a digital recorded course program with 15 different courses, including two bonus courses. So go check it out, lickandref.com slash courses, and I will see you the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Enjoy.